back in the hood again. We got a, uh, we got two more cars we got to pull out of here. Uh, they got Cedric on the way down here, and I've got a uh, Chrysler 200 built 392 or something like that. This is the tow guy. I'm back here at building 392. Mm -hmm. And I backed up to the uh, Chrysler 200. The guy came out and he's kind of he, he's, he's kind of blocking me from towing it. And I explained to him, he tells he got somebody coming to get it today is what he's saying. And he talked to somebody. Hold on one second, because I was not aware that she told somebody that they had. Okay, yeah. well, talk to Oh, it don't run, so you can let her out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. You ain't gonna be able to run it. Yeah, you can be able to drive off it. She did talk to him. Unbeknownst to the to the manager, the assistant did talk to him Friday, and he said he was getting to move Monday. on another one man we was over here uh monday this manager uh she uh i don't know man they, they're doing a cleanup job on this property these residents that had these cars over here for years and they uh they ain't liking these cars getting moved or towed but we had a confrontation with this guy right here i'm going to tow and i got part of it on video didn't get the whole situation on video because uh, one of my cameras wasn't working. Anyway, long story short, they called him back in. He didn't. He didn't do what uh, what he said he was going to do. Every time they do a cleanup job on a property, the residents they they don't like it. They don't like changes. People don't like to change what they've been doing and how they've been uh, how they've been living. It's pretty hood, and uh, they're trying to make it, uh, trying to make the property nice again. So, towing cars is part of it. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna be real surprised if this guy don't come out. Chances are he's gonna come out. So we're gonna we're gonna see what happens.
man. Yeah, go ahead, get what we need, bro. She just called it in again. Yeah. Yeah, she uh, yeah. she got somebody. She got the police code enforcement on her. Huh? They got code enforcement on them. That's why they're doing what they're doing. No. I appreciate you staying calm too, man. Oh, man. I know how it is. I mean, I yeah. Like that. Yeah. You do. You got a job just like everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Hey, have a good one, man. Let's go to Marietta. Hey, get that number right there. We got three lots. I'm not sure what lot they'll put it at, but just get the number. Appreciate it, man. Have a good one. Yeah. Yeah, you too, man. Anyway, dude was uh kept it real professional. He's actually a good dude. I I got that right off the bat when first time first confrontation we had. I kind of gauged him right off the bat. I could tell he was a nice dude. And he wasn't lying about talking to the manager. And uh, she gave him until Monday. Anyway, we just rolled up on this second one. Oh, this one's got two flat tires on one side. Yeah, that's the right one. Like I said they got it got it rode down as a Buick, but uh, the tag matches. So we're gonna uh, come back and grab this town car. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna drop the one I got different location and we'll lift it. That town car is going to be difficult to uh, drag out, put on a wheel lift, air the tire up and all that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drop this one and wheel lift this one. Yeah, it's not up to me. It's up to the manager. It's up to the property manager. He said, they just tow what they want to tow, and said, I, we don't have any control over it. He said it's not up to him. It's up to the property manager. He doesn't have any control over it. Yeah, she called. She gave me a tag number and a building and a car, and we, we just come get them. He said, he said the tag is applied for. You're not supposed to bother his car if the tag is applied for. It's not a well, it's, it's not. It's not me. It's the property manager that he orders it tow. He needs to call her. Cause I, I can't. He said it's not even a tow sticker on there. Uh, like I said it's not up to me. I just know the manager told us to come tow it. He said he just know the manager told him to come tow it. He said it's not. Yeah, him. I get a call and they just send me to go get a call. You know what I'm saying? I I, I can't decide not to tow it because I won't have a job. Tow companies don't just show up and tow. Not in Georgia. Uh, we're not allowed to pick and choose what we tow. Uh, we got to tow what the property managers tell us to tow. And that's what a lot of uh, people come on the channel, they don't get it. If you don't get it, man, then uh, you probably never will. The tow companies in Georgia can't just tow. They have to be ordered. Uh, fire trucks in a, in a wreck scene, it's not a good sign. 
Now that was a that was an extrication right there. My prayers for the uh, people involved, man. I hope everybody's okay. Man, you can't you can never tell, man. But they had to cut the door off of it to get them out, so it can't be too good. 